Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another video and today we're playing Clash Royale again and this is basically a video showing you the deck that I'm using at the moment and I think it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, after the, I recorded this video I won another 7 to 8 games with this deck. Look at the deck now. Um, it may seem like a pretty simple deck but it's got everything a deck needs. It's got defence, it's got counter to air, it's got counter to any sort of rush, it's just... Just watch um, these three battles I play. I do play them live at the time, as you guys will see. And it is a very, very good deck. Now, the basic basic basis of the strategy is um, you use the either the dragon or the, the giant to push up, just like a normal... Use them as the tanks and get either the skull... The, the, the skull with the bomb. Very, very good at taking out barbarians and splash damage. Um, and a flying troop, um, as much flying troops as possible, just because flying troops in this game are very, very good. Um, the dragon at this point, um, especially at the stage I'm at, is extremely good, it has a lot of health. Um, also, this strategy would not be possible without, of the, without the free spell. It is super, super good. Um, you can use it for defense, for defending, you can use it for attacking to distract, to uh, freeze the towers or troops. It's just Honestly, if you have the free spell and you don't implement it in your deck, you absolutely 100% need to. Um, also, a lot of people um, ask uh, a lot of people, why do people place their giants right at the back? Well, it just means that you get a little bit more time to um, get some elixir together before you do a full rush. If I place the giant right at the front there, it would be getting attacked already before I laid any troops. So it gives it me time to basically get some elixir together and then start placing some troops and um, bear in mind memory you can as you can see here the dragon can fly over the lava wherever whatever the map is and fly over it doesn't need to go across the bridge so it can take out um, the the skeleton spawners very easily it's a, it's a really high really popular uh, strategy at the moment the skeleton spawner and as you guys will see here it's super super easy we easily destroyed that up and not not much problem at all. The free spell took care of the two towers that were firing on us and we get a nice easy win there. So we just jump straight into a second attack and um, we're going to actually be just doing the same strategy again. Um, luckily we've got the giant this time and we've got the dragon right off the spawn. And it's actually the perfect start. Um, it's just really, really, really good. So we place the giant in, we wait for, obviously they've laid their little uh, goblins in, but that's absolutely fine, we should be able to take that out pretty nicely. So now I lay the dragon, nor do I, no I wait, I lay the bomber, um, just because the bomber is very good with splash damage, so it should be able to take out the groups of thing very nicely. The, actually this was a big mistake here, I should have used the the arrows there instead of laying them minions that was a huge huge mistake um, and that cost me quite quite a bit um, but we managed to do some sort of damage into the the tower they are really really good we managed to take the tower out so obviously we can't really be complaining about that very very nice push the free spell definitely saved us there and basically a nice little easy take down there so here we go, we've got the goblins coming back in, the spear goblins. We're going to be placing the giant at the back left now, uh, pushing up towards that tower on its side. Now, we're just waiting away. Then barbarians shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm just going to lay some, obviously lay some archers just to get rid of, uh, just to keep that lane a little bit defended. We don't, we're not, I'm not too bored about that taking damage because we're getting that giant pushed up at the moment. Got the bomber in. The bomber giant strategy is so good. Anything that has uh, any groups that try to take out my giant, that bomb, little leg, uh, skeleton bomber takes really good care of that. We've got a free spell. Just thinking about, I was just waiting to place it just in case any, any troops are laid. And um, we've got this in the bag, and nothing can really stop us at this point. And it's another easy takedown. Now. It's unbelievable how good the strategy is. They've got another last attack here. Um, we play play against someone pretty good actually in this in this next attack. But we still managed to. I think we actually managed to defeat him again. This guy's got a pretty good deck. Um, any super defensive decks you can 
Uh, you've got the, the dragon, you've got the free spells, so you can easily take care of things like that. Spawner decks, so he managed, I don't know why the guy placed minions at the start. Uh, it's a very weak uh, first move. He's got the hogs in though as well, but we have free spell to take care of that. To be perfectly honest with you, the free spell was pretty weak. Uh, we didn't even get the witches, which is really, really bad. So this is going to be a pretty uh, fail. He's going to get a lot of damage in. Yeah, he actually manages to take my tower out first, which was pretty, pretty disappointing for me. I was quite disappointed with that. We still managed to win the game, of course, with this strategy. So um, we get some da some damage into the to the tower, which I think was okay. That little skeleton pushes away. So we done we done okay, but obviously I want a bit. I, don't, I didn't really want to lose my tower that early on, so we just want to just watch him what this guy does, see if he tries to do a hog rush again, we're going to be prepared for that, so I just place the giant in, just get the things moving again, he places the giant as well, which is kind of a, a silly move, we place them at the same time, I'm obviously going to be placing some flying troops just so that giant can, uh, we can start hitting things and we can get that giant taken out pretty quick, um, uh, I think I, uh, yeah, lay some archers, which is pretty a weak move I should have laid, some uh, the arrows there so we, we blast down the the giant my giants going in this is looking pretty this is looking pretty pretty bad but I think I do lay a freeze no I lay an arrows now which was a really really silly move but we've got the we've actually got the, another hog but I use the freeze spell perfectly there just to take out the so the uh, the archer tower can be on that and then we can take out that witch nicely. So it didn't do that much damage. We're on the we're on the offense now. We we've actually lost some damage on our second tower, and we haven't even took one of his towers out yet. So we just need to watch out with this. We got a bomber in now. Just uh, getting things pretty good. We're getting minion army. Get that witch out pretty quick. We're, we're actually on the push now. We really need to take that witch out. Getting arrows in there, so we can uh, get that giant on the base and we managed to one more swing and we actually managed to take that out which is pretty pretty good so now we're on a complete push we're gonna place another giant on the left hand side while he is going for my right get a giant in there it's on times two elixir now so um, he's got a little bomb which I lay some menus to take care of that quite nicely um, so the giants in there lay some arrows get the free spell in we're going to be ploughing at the base, what's happening here, two seconds left uh, till sudden death, and we're pushing up very nicely, we've got the archers, we've got the giants, can we do this with the archers, and the archer's going to take that thing down, so that shows you a nice little last push there, takes the base out, um, pretty really good strategy guys, I definitely recommend you guys using it, hope you guys enjoyed the video with another Clash Royale video, I do really enjoy using it as well. Here's another crown chest open for you guys. See what we get. We get some gold, some gems, some minions, um, some bombers. And that's pretty much it. Some pe mini P.E.K.K.A. So hope you guys really enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time.